Today we're going to be talking about five wide receiver press releases you could use versus head up press coverage. Now on this channel we usually talk a lot about press releases that you can use versus like inside shade press, outside shade press, how to attack a DB's leverage, but today we're going to be going over releases you can use when this DB is right in front of your face in something I call head up press. So the first release you're going over is something called a split release. So we're going to use this yellow cone as like my line of scrimmage and the red cone is going to replicate the DB who's in head up press. Now today again we're going to talk about when he's right up in your face, maybe two yards away head up press and how you guys can structure your routes off of those looks. So the first release, like I said, is a split release. So a split release, we like it against head up press because we can react off of a DB. A lot of times when a DB is in head up, he is trying to disguise what he's doing. He lines up in head up press. As soon as the ball snapped, he shades to the inside, shades to the outside. So we want to be able to react and be in a position off the line to where I can react. So the split release, you're going to take your front foot up and say my left foot's up. Quarterback is over here to the left. Your front foot is going to step out. Your back foot is going to step up and you are going to come to balance. Now when you come to balance, you're reading this DB. If he shades to the outside, okay, cool. I can push and go to the inside. He shades inside, okay, cool. I can push and go to the outside. The key on this split release is that your feet need to move fast. We're not jumping up. We're not jumping too wide and we are not too narrow. If you're too narrow, we won't have any power. If we're too wide, this DB could easily get hands and knock us off our route. So we have to stay here, low explosive position and be able to react. So again, front foot goes out, back foot goes up and then we can react. I'm going to show you how this should look full speed. Now guys, if you're a wide receiver or quarterback and you would like to train with myself and my staff this off season, we have three more remaining camps available for you to sign up. We are coming out to 15 states this off season. We've already been to seven, but the rest of our camps are completely sold out except our camp in Detroit, Michigan, Boise, Idaho, and Los Angeles, California. So guys, if you're local to one of those three cities, would like to train with us, we have about five spots left available in all three of those camps. Check out that very first link in the description below. We'd love to have you out again. Again, our camps in Detroit, Boise, and Los Angeles, California all have available spots. So guys, very first link in that description below. Let's get back to this video. <laughs> Now this next release that we could use versus a head up press coverage DB is when you want to take an inside release on I would say like an inside breaking route. So we talk, let's use like a post trap for example. Whenever we have a DB who's like let's say he's inside shade press and we have to run a post, I talk about it a lot. You want to attack this DB's leverage to the inside, take the outside release, take what he gives you, right? You don't want to try to force the inside release versus inside shade press as he's just going to get hands, squeezes to the inside and our re he's going to reroute us and the spacing on the entire play concept is going to be off because you're Routes getting forced to the inside, so we take what he gives us. Now, obviously on an inside breaking route, I'd love to take an inside release because that's easier. If I have head up press coverage, I want to try to take an inside release. So this release is going to be called a wide step release, and that's going to help us try to get this DB to move off his platform to the outside so we could take this inside release. So the first part of this release starts with something called a kick step. So a kick step is you take your back foot and you kick behind your front foot to throw your hip, to throw your jab step or your wide step outside of this DB's frame is the best way to get a DB to move is to step outside of his frame. I think whenever you're facing head up press like you're driving, you got the left lane, you got the middle lane, and you got the right lane. If I want this DB to move to the right lane, I actually have to step to the right lane, bring my hips, bring my upper body because in press he's watching my hips so I better make sure I sell it with my hips. So that kick step will help us load so we can throw to get him to move off that platform and we can take that inside release. So I'm going to show you how this release should look full speed. <laughs> So this next release is going to be a variation of the split release and you would use this when this DB is in head up press coverage. I wouldn't even necessarily maybe call it press, it's more like catch technique where he's about two to three yards away from you. So I call this a walk split release. Obviously you're not going to walk the movement, it's going to be more of just like a, like a, I guess you could say like a slower sprint, maybe a controlled pace jog if you will. But the goal is to close the space with this DB, bring the line of scrimmage to him, then hit our split release and be able to react off of him. right? Because because a lot of times when a DB's in head up coverage, especially when he's two to three yards off, when we close space, he shows his leverage and he shows how he wants to play. So we come off the ball, set, go. It doesn't mean like the first couple steps, there's not like I guess you could say a set number of steps where I go one, then hit the split release, or one, two, then hit the split. It kind of varies based on where the DB is and how he plays. So it could be one step, two step, three step. You're kind of like almost working on the fly in a sense, but you're closing the space, gathering the info, then we hit the split release and we can react off of whichever way he shades. If you're running like a fade route, I would obviously like to take an outside release. If you're running a post route, I would obviously like to take an inside release. But we still have to be able to react off of him. So we're bringing that line of scrimmage to him, then hitting the split release so we can release whichever way. So I'm going to show you how this release should look full speed. <coughs> 
Now this next release, you guys, is going to be for an outside braking route, like an out route, um, you know, maybe a fade route, I guess you could say, a corner route, a comeback, but anytime I want to take the outside release and I have a DB who's lined up in head up press. So if I have an outside braking route, ideally, what type of release should I want to take, outside or inside? If I have an outside braking route, I want to take an outside release because it's always easier when you have a DB on your hip, you break this thing off and you have some space, you don't have to slip under him, you don't have to work super hard to be able to stack him like how you would if you had outside shade press with an outside braking route. So this release we're going over is something called a double up and it's going to build off of your wide step release. Now we're going to work this like this DB is literally right up on the line of scrimmage right in front of my face and he's not giving me any room to work. So this double up, remember our wide step release, it started with what? It started with a kick step, right? So we're going to do the same kick step, throw an outside jab step, but it's not a big jab step. We're not trying to step super far into the right lane. It's almost like just a quick punch into the ground and I am pushing off of this to throw back inside with this inside jab step to the left lane, if you will, to get this DB to jump so I could take this free outside release. So it's just a simple one, two. It's more of a lateral move off the line. I'm going to show you how this should look full speed. Now, before we get into the full speed example, you guys, of the double up release, if you are a wide receiver and you would like me to make a custom workout plan for you, eight weeks of on-field workouts, eight weeks of gym workouts that you could do, all based on areas of your game you need to improve on, check out that second link in the description below. Again, the second link in the description below. You guys will get access to be able to send me film. So you send me film of you practicing, you film of you training, game film, whatever, I'll break it down, give you audio and video feedback, tell you the areas you need to improve in, and then make a plan specific to your skill set. So guys, second link in that description below if that's of interest to you. Let's get back to this video. <laughs> Now this next release, you guys, is going to be a simple four-step release. So I call this a two quicks crossover release. So what we are trying to do is we're obviously trying to close space with this DB. He's in head-up coverage about two to three yards away. So this is a little bit faster of a tempo of that closed space split release. It's a faster tempo release. So if we're trying to go fast, get off the ball quick, maybe I have to run a timing route, like an out route, like a comeback route. So it's going to be a four-step release, but the first two steps are going to be very quick steps. So it's going to be one, two, three four. Acting like I'm faking to the inside, trying to make this DB think I'm crossing his face, releasing to the inside to move him, and then I take this outside release. So remember, it's two quicks, three, four, crossover. I'm going to show you how this four-step release is going to look full speed. 